So our last artist that we're going to talk about with the Italian Renaissance is the artist Donatello. So one of the first things we want to note about Donatello was that he was a sculptor and worked often for the Medicis. So he was patronized by the Medici family, like many of the other artists of the Italian Renaissance. And then one of the other things that we want to note about Donatello is an interesting um, rumor about him that he supposedly would destroy his own pieces if he felt disrespected or not paid enough. Destroy his own pieces if he felt disrespected or not paid enough. So there were stories that Donatello, if when his patrons would come to see the final product, if they didn't, you know, just absolutely love it, or maybe they um, tried to kind of haggle or talk down the price, that Donatello right there after doing maybe a year or two years worth of work would just destroy the piece right in front of them, um, that he was very temperamental as an artist. So that was kind of an interesting um, story about him. So Donatello's most famous piece is also called David, like Michelangelo's David, telling the story of David and Goliath, but this one is a little bit different. This piece is a bronze sculpture, and what's different about this piece is that this is showing David after the battle with Goliath. So after the battle with Goliath. And in this piece, he is wearing, um, you can see him wearing sandals, like tall sandal boots. And he also has a hat on, a shepherd's hat. And he's holding a sword. We can see him holding the sword. And then he is standing on Goliath's head. He's standing on Goliath's head. If you take your head and tilt it to the left a little bit, and you stare carefully at the image that's underneath uh, David's foot, you can kind of see the face of Goliath, where you can see the helmet that he's wearing, um, you can see his eyes and nose, and then you can see his mouth kind of peeking through where his beard is. Um, and so this piece is showing kind of the aftermath of that story after David defeats Goliath and then takes the sword and cuts his head off. So this piece is kind of in contrast and different to Michelangelo's David. So kind of two different interpretations of this particular um, story from the Bible. So that takes us to finally our summary of what we should have learned about Italian Renaissance art. So some of the key things that we should have learned was first this was the time period where we see a new technique emerge, a new medium that's called fresco, which was painting done on fresh wet plaster with water-based paint. So we saw many different pieces that use that fresco technique. Second thing that we should see is that here now we see the art using different techniques that develop things like human emotion, depth, and also realistic style. So those were some new um, concepts that we start to see develop in Renaissance art. Third thing is that we see that much of the art that was created highlighted the theme of naturalism, which was a theme that focused on the natural world and the environment, where they were trying to um, highlight those features, plants, animals, um, trees, the sky, the water, all of those different things they were paying a lot of attention to and getting them accurate in their pieces. Fourth thing is that many of the pieces used nudity 
which was still kind of an emerging concept in this time, and focused on achieving accurate human anatomy. So paying careful attention to the human form and trying to get those images as realistic and accurate and proportional as possible. Fifth thing is that there were many common subject matters that we saw over and over again and that the two most common were stories from Greek and Roman mythology and then stories from the Bible. So much of the art of this time period was religiously based either going back to kind of, we talked about how the Renaissance was a revival of interest in Greek and Roman things um, here in the mythology stories or in stories from Christianity. And then the last thing was that many of these artists were patronized um, by wealthy families like the Medici's that we mentioned multiple times or were patronized by the church and other religious organizations. So that is our lesson on Italian Renaissance art.